Never go hungry again in Manalort. This is ultimate guide exploring food stages. As we know, there are many kind of food in Manalort, and this is guide teach us how to be use this efficiency and effective way. So let's go started. Uh, we're gonna explain there are four stages of food. The first stage is early game food sources. And second one is establishing farming stage. Third stage is advantage food protection. And the final one is balancing food supply. So let's go and start our first uh, early stage of food resources. So as we know, in Manor Lord, there are three kinds of early stage food. The first one, and it is added in last uh, update is fishing we can fish using uh, placing a f uh, fishman hut so we can arrange that using three people three families farming and fishing one pot this is really efficient way but it is really easy to lose this food because of spoilage mechanism that happened here. Make sure you have at least one salt deposit near your statement. So uh, in winter, fishing port is not can be uh, fished there because of freezing water. But through the research, you can unlock advantage fishing which can be allowed to catching fish in winter that uh, making a hole in the ice and fishing out there and the second one is meat meat is really important early on you can farm it using wild animals and you have to place a hunting camp out there to hunt that people and also is the trick thing is do not place one hunting camp only you have to place at least three hunting camp to maximize your meat efficiency also the meat has a research that's called a trap which allowed you to passively income food using the trap in advantage hunting camp and also you can double amount of meat by hunters and by animal and butchers animal put also we can talk about uh, meat that we they are a butcher can also protect meat using your sheep and lambs in the your pot you can farm them increase your numbers of your sheep and then you can use them to protect some hides and meat and the third way the third resources in the early on is by farming berries very easy is easiest way to farm to survive in this wildlife by placing foranger hut that can order your family to move and farming your berries in the wild and a trick way that you can't place a field above the bushes that hold some berries and keep that bushes survive from spoiling by cutting uh, wood in the forest this is really secret way and also you can place multi uh, huts out there that assign each hut only one families that 
create a huge amount of berries in decent time so this is a really trick way is consume only three to four people not assigning all people in one hut but separate them there out there and you can increase the number as you need it but it is not useful that way and each hut can handle up to 30, uh, 50 berries out there and you can farm a lot of berries if you don't assign any storage that can canary that cannot that can handle that overflowed berries out there that is all in the sta early stage and for acknowledgement they are when you start a, a new game there will be only two sources of food in each plot in each territory so make sure to select that good one have uh, meat and berries or at least meat and fish meat is important early on because with meat using a hunting camp they can protect hide which uh, you can also protect a shoes that transfer hide to become shoes and you can sell it in the market and create a second clothes for your family that can be used to upgrade to level 2 and 3 your bridge or uh, burgage this is important to have a meat in first stage of the game and now the second stage in establishing farming farming is long term investment in this game the first farming you can invest in this game is placing a pasture and buying some kind of sheep and lambs this is a really easy way you can buy it import it from outside and let them here they're gonna breed and they're gonna increase your wealthy by protecting some wool and you can use it also in butcher to cut them off and use her meat and leather there but it is not recommended in early early and second stage of this game because it take time to be grow there the second way in stage two is establishing your food resources by farming it in the field fields you can uh, farm uh, and await also you can use array but ray is really deep in the research point so i advise you to select the best place you can find it here in mr and place all your all your plot uh, fields on green area but you have to be balanced on there and sometime you can rotate your farming years by years one year is uh, farming weight and second one is um, follow or two years farming and one year let the field rest from farming this is best strategy and do not mix it with another thing because ba barely is here really low efficient also the flex and same time Barely here is really rich, really rich here. So we can use that richness of barely to form it also here so that you can check the map. It is really critical thing to check which area is good for farming. For example, here is for flex. I cannot even do another thing else way is really bad so i cannot mix with flex also here area this area this is good for barely so i can use it to farming there 
This is really critical thing on farming. That's why much, much more people struggling on farming and keep it in light late game because they are not efficient way to farm it. And this one is really easy one to select a good field and use it in efficiently way. And also the weight need to process. This is really critical thing. We need to focus on that. On farmhouse, they bring your weight here and start to convert it to gene. You need Wesley to sign people there and set it to high as soon as possible. If you have high gene of wealthy well, weight there, you can use your converting from wealth to gene is medium but if you need a lot of food to feed your statement and families set it to the high because nobody work while harvesting i think it's only work in winter season so when your gene is really ready to be process it uh, they you can use wind mall, wind mall to transport the gene to the windmill and process it to be floor and also floor can be sent to the oven to protect a bread for your families but in same time one of our plot can be versus that floor to be a bread which is twice efficient than the oven but it takes a place on one of our, your bare gauge also it required at least a one development research which is really expensive now by the way while farming you have to assign a lot of people to do your job there I signed about seven families which can be processed there and two families each failed and others is resting take time to take long time that's why that they are a research and development that can add a pole blowing station that use one of our oxes to harvest and help our families doing things doing works in the field which is really efficient way to minimize your people working in the fields i recommended that thing really hard and one farming house can handle so many so many fields with plodding station blowing station so it is recommended to search it on the other hand you can use your pets your animals sheep and lambs to be recover your fields really fast by unlocking a development research it's called fertilization which we add furnaces in the fails and use this fails in the winter to recover the losses of the I mean use this fails while this is following resting and keep animal inside to increase the facility of that field it is a really efficient way to recover this field really fast and make sure that field has a full gain next season this is really advantage thing but we can do it in early uh, in late game but this is all explanation of this farming secret and and second stage which is establishing farming we can establish also 
uh, extension in per gauge that can be farm and place a uh, vegetables in this game it can be found here in extension it's called vegetable gardens and cost nothing only 15 worthy and you can farm uh, carrots whatever they are it is all vegetables there out there this is a passive way to increase your food in this game this is really easy way also and nicely way because this is not consume any salt of your families this is really easy way to get food in early and early stages of this game also in second stage of establish farming we can establish animal pen in the pair gauge extension which we has a good thing and last update that we can use two kind of animals we can farm a goats or pigs the goats give us only one meat every 150 days and the big give us two meats every 150 days which means every year they give us four as a pig that is plenty of resources plenty of meat annually if we focus on that we don't have any other sources than meat in this game but getting some extensions and multi type of food is really nice and really good to survive in this game if you like to increase your num uh, numbers of your sheep and lambs passively the are development research is called sheep breeding that let the, your sheep to breed and increase his number really really nice without any spending of cash or wealthy and let's talk about the third stage which is an advantage food protection it is really advantage food production the first of all the first one we're gonna talk about about farming eggs it's a bit expensive than the vegetable but the eggs is nice way to feed your people and mid-range stages of this game I believe you need to increase that number really high after you have a plenty of per gauge in your settlement finding it an extension and it is passively develop that thing and get some eggs annually it is not take any salt from your people and that they do it in passive way of collecting the eggs in passive way it is easy easy free eggs out there and we're gonna talk about honey you can place a operatory and collect honey in the wild this is honey can be unlocked in the development only they can breeding that bees and get some honey from there to feed that settlement you can place multi a brewery out there to collect honey and I believe it is really passive way to get it costs so many people to work there up to four but I am not sure if it is increase your efficiency on collecting honeys there and let's talk about the gold of this food in this game is apple apple 
is plenty resources it is really nice way to get food you can place apple everywhere and they didn't take any empty space from they don't take any space from your worker and families and they're gonna increase your food really fast but the downside of this one is apple is required about three years to fully growth and start protecting food there take long time to grow but surely they are really 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 wealthy and you found it's much more useful way to get richness on manor lord you can find that to unlock the farming apples archard there and go to the per gauge select apple archard it cost about 50 wealthy but it is not expensive in mid late game you can get plenty of that really easy by following my next turtle about how to get wealthy really fast and now we're gonna explain something really secret in this game uh, a passively protect a bread in the settlement you can explore your development research and find a research orange suppliers which has a new building it's called food cart that food cart protect passively income of bread as long as this religion has enough wealthy which is really nice really nice it can be unlocked in the residential and you find food cart and you can place it out there and this will protect bread passively over over years that's really nice nice feature you can use it early game but you have to spend one development on foreign suppliers research to unlock this which i think it is helpful for somehow and now stage four balancing food supplies and this is stage we should mixing our statement mixing multi foods we can get we need to use our wild animals and f also fishes on and if we have a berries too we need to mix that and use it efficiently way to collect that everything in fishing don't fish all your fishing until death that's easy way we need to set a limit for that to able to s one third is really nice one third is really nice to keep this fishing healthy overall and also don't they are uh, don't cross the red line for the red line for your wild animals if you do your animal will migration that's really bad also in berries don't farm or ble uh, don't cut f uh, trees near that berries bushes if you saw by mistake it's better to place a failed to protect that thing it's work until now i hope it's work later we don't know when they will be fixed this bug future on and also make sure you place and use all your pre gauge to be food protection if it is for eggs or for vegetables or for apple later on or for also for pigs for, fam, uh, for pigs 
this is really efficient way to take them all for long long term start from begin it is best for you everything again our issue is about wealthy early on and you can watch my next video to solve this wealthy issue in first year you can do that really fast and be happy all that your game throw also the final stage my final stage of stage four is use your trading post to import food as soon as you can for example i can set here full trade for meat to be 50 if we have less than 50 we can import the meat out from from the ages to recovery our statement also we can set it that for berries any more than let's say to, for any more 150 it can be import that anymore more than 50 can be exported and less than 150 it we can import it that restore search will help us on the trading logistic will reduct our establishing new route in half also uh, better deals reduct all French import by half which is really nice for example we buy uh, meat by six will uh, 12 wealthy after unlocking that research it will be only six it is really easy way cheap way to establish your root and business that's all we can explain now And this ultimate guide we explained about four stage of this food protection which start from first stage which collecting things early on and second stage which is farming stage and third one is um, advantage food protection and the fourth one is balancing food supply to be efficient way and now we're gonna end this a guide if you like this video please hit the like button and if you're not not yet subscribe my channel you can subscribe my channel down there and also you can share me your experience on food protection in this game. See you next time. See ya.